I want to go over the trade of the day from Tick Pulse e Mini S and P version 12. This strategy had a nice long trade yesterday. Took the nice short into the close, up 3,000 today. It was up around 2,400 yesterday. And this strategy before this went through a pretty extended drawdown. One of the reasons why we don't pull strategies right away because you see this straight down drawdown and then this big bounce back. And so periodical returns, nice recovery in this strategy. Once it recovers, we may reconsider, uh, you know, modifying it. But I think it's capturing the market mode of the market much better right now. The market is, for the way this works, there's there's cycles of strategies and and the portfolio. If you start chopping off systems that are losing. Um, and then keep going with the systems that are winning. When those systems that are winning go through a drawdown, you won't have these systems that have the potential to win. So there's cycles of systems, and this is cycled back in for now. Tick Pulse V12, E-mini S&P, best trade of the day. And Cobra 3, E-mini S&P, Cobra 3, E-mini NASDAQ have had a big, big 30-day period. Uh, down today, hit the stop loss. Stop loss just a little too tight, minus 625. It's that counter trend rally, straight down day, but just these these pops, these counter trend rallies are pretty big, really. And the S&P, that's 27.56 all the way up to uh, 28.01, so over about a 50 point, 50 almost a 50 point rally, 45 point rally there. And the E-mini Nasdaq, same thing, minus 625 on that counter trend rally. So you're you're looking at this counter trend rally was 80.63 all the way up to. 81.76 over 100 points down here at the lows 78.92 all the way up to 80.68 so 170 plus point rally there counter trend rally so massive rally is also one thing you notice here in the afternoon so the market seems to always want to make it back to its 1300 close the close at 1300 is right here and it seems to try to no matter how much it sells off it tries to bounce to this where it closed at one o'clock if it's down on the day. So there's some mean reversion related to that 1300 and 1400 time frame on the charts. Adaptive moving average was another strategy that traded today. It was up on the day plus 812.50. Uh, short, long, short, long. And so it did make it did end up making some money today. Uh, Mirror E mini S P caught that little mean reversion move at the open plus 475 such a small looking move it looks like a $200 profit target instead of a $500 profit target e-mini night trader plus 675 on the day and let's take a look at the other trades uh, those are the trades on the day so we have one two three four five six trades in this workspace four winners and two losers let's take a look at the results here one, two, three, four, five, six. These are what I have. Plus 37, 87, 50 in this workspace. And so if you're trading the 19 system stock index portfolio, you're trading two contracts of this and two contracts of that. Tick pulse and cover three. And so you're you add another 2,400 to this. If you're trading the 19 system stock index portfolio, you're up another 2,400, which is about 6,000 on the day. Also in the 200K portfolio, there's it trades the 19 system stock index portfolio plus some of the commodities. So, and then the the workspace all stock all strategy all access all strategy access workspace two, which is the other stock indexes, was down 2260 on the day. Let's go over the three trades there. Asia four minus 2050 just really captured this falling knife and and got stopped out on two trades. And tick pulse. Didn't do as well on the um, E-mini Nasdaq. We need a little bit bigger profit or a little bit bigger stop loss here. And right here, you know, with this counter trend rally of 170 points caught us. And so um, to count trend in Q, it's it's been chopped up a little bit today. Did better today. So um, you see that. And those are just the three trades on the day for that. So you see those. And then let's look at. Three workspace three, four, and five. Asia Gold four minus five twenty-five. Kobe Euro four minus six twenty-five. SR counter trend two soybeans. It was plus two seventy-five on the day. Grains Day Trader three minus three seventy-five. And the energies were the top some of the top commodities today. SR counter trend three um, overnight strategy. Natural gas hit its profit target. So it really was a day trade. 
$500. And then Cobra, uh, SR Countertrend 2, V2, 1M, 5M, and 15M all hit their $600 profit targets. So you see some nice short trades in crude oil. Crude oil is obviously in a bear market, so shorting rallies here is what the strategy is doing. See two shorts there. And so those are the trades on the day. And interesting, what's interesting to note most about this day is that um, with the coronavirus, it was they issued a pandemic. It was a pandemic. They came up with some really negative news about the coronavirus and um, talk of a pandemic right in here. And so the market, or right in here, I believe. So the market sold, but it just bounced right back. So it didn't sell off hard. I thought it might sell off a little bit harder. And gold and bonds also sold off. I would have thought that, you know, the stock indexes would sell a little bit harder. And gold and bonds would rally, but they didn't. Gold and bonds sold off. Stocks sold off just a little, but not much. So very contrary day. Um, very, very interesting price action. Lots of counter trend bounces still, and the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq closed. Nasdaq futures closed almost at the uh, well. They did close right at the 8,000 level, so they got it back to the 8,000, 8,000 level in the Nasdaq futures, and they tried to close the S&P futures at 2750. They got to 2740. So we shall see what tomorrow holds. Interesting day, but overall an up day in the portfolios.